and good morning to you. Well, I tell you, it's an interesting life we're living today. This is Pastor Bob Barker from Crossroads Community Church welcoming you to our morning worship service. This is what it's gonna be like for the next few weeks. We all know that times have changed and things are going on, but that's okay. Jesus is still the same. No matter what goes on, we know that our confidence is in Him. That's the most important thing that we can possibly remember. So just recognize the fact that we have some challenges going on, but He is still the same and He is the one that is going to see us through. I also want you to know that I'm praying for you and your families and all of your coworkers, the people that you normally see and fellowship with everywhere, every day I know we're not getting to see, and it feels isolating. But remember, Jesus is with them, He's with us, we're just all hanging in there together. I don't know when things are gonna get back to what we would consider normal, but the one thing that I do know is that we're gonna to continue to be the church that God's called us to be. So no matter what the circumstances are, we will make it through. So in response to everything that's going on, this is the way we're gonna conduct church for the next few weeks. I don't think it's gonna be that long before we get back together again, but until then, this is the medium here on Facebook that we're going to use. You could actually share this with your friend, which is what I hope you will do. I believe it will give us more people to minister to than ever before. So please share this link with your friends. I hope it will be an encouragement to them as well. It's an important part that we play here, moving the same, doing the same things, spending the same time that we would every Sunday, every weekday with God and with each other. That is the most important thing that we can do is to keep that normal pace of our life together. So I have a scripture reading that I'd like us to start with. It's one we've taken a look at before but it doesn't mean that it's not more important to us today than ever before. It's certainly worth repeating in lieu of what's going on here today. So let's take a look here. It's found in Matthew 8, verses 23 through 27. Then he got out of the boat and his disciples followed him. Suddenly a furious storm came up on the lake so that the waves swept over the boat. But Jesus was sleeping. The disciples went and woke him, saying, Lord, save us. We're going to drown. He replied, You of little faith, why are you so afraid? Then he got up, rebuked the winds and the waves, and was completely, completely calm. The men were amazed and asked, What kind of man is this? Even the winds and the waves obey him. So the thing I want you to remember today is I want you to choose faith over fear. If you sit and listen to all the news and things that are going on, that's what you're hearing. Faith comes by hearing, and we don't want to put our faith in all of the social media that's going on. The only thing we need to have faith in is God. That's the thing that we really need to remind ourselves. The scripture said, what sort of man is this that even the winds and the seas obey him? That's the thing we need to remind ourselves. The disciples were hanging out there with Jesus in this boat. I want you just to think about that for a moment. They were doing the things that they always did. They walked with him. They talked with him. They ate with him. He was just one of them. They got in this boat and they got away from shore. He fell asleep. He had been ministering to the people all the time. And what took place was he had no concerns about what was going on. We shouldn't have those kinds of concerns either because we know that Jesus is in this boat with us. He's right there. He's never left us. So when the storms came up, all of this Disturbance came to them and they did not know how to react. They were unprepared to face it. They began to panic and they realized that they might die. And there's a lot of people that feel that way today. They're un they were un unprepared for what this was happening. I mean, just a couple of weeks ago, Jeff and I were on vacation in California. Wouldn't think about going to California today. 
But all of that to say, we don't know what the next day is like, but we will always know what Jesus is like. Instead of looking at Jesus' reaction, he was asleep. They were panicked. They looked at what was going on around about them, and it began to dictate to them their reaction. Don't let all of the panic that's going on today in other people's lives affect yours. We've got so much more knowledge. We know what Jesus is and where he's at and inside our lives, and he is orchestrating the things around us. But these disciples, after begging Jesus to do something, he calms the storm. And he makes a statement. He says, why were you so afraid? Why were you so afraid? There's not one of us that should be panicked. Not one of us that should be afraid about what's going on today. He didn't rebuke them because they didn't think he could calm the storms. I think they knew that. I just think they didn't think he would do it for them. And that's often what the enemy does. He tries to isolate us, say, God's going to save everybody else but me. I've got news for you. God loves you just like he does me. And what he will do for me, he will do for you and every person you know as well. So this is not a time to be afraid. It's a time to have faith in God. They struggled to believe that he would do something for them. Maybe you're struggling today, wondering, is there going to be enough for me? Am I going to get through this? I've got news for you. God is going to see you through. But when we find ourselves in storms like what's going on today, he's watching to see what we do too. Are we going to act in faith, believing that he's going to take care of us? Or are we going to react to what's going on? I want us to learn to respond to challenges. Respond to them. Don't be so concerned about them. And so what happens is, I've got three things that I want us to take a look at here today. Just three short ones. God has power over every storm. Even in your storm, he's got power over what's going on. If the wind and waves didn't concern him, then the challenges that we face today should not concern us. They shouldn't frighten you at all. You might be able to change. You might not be able to change the situation that you're in, but we know someone who can speak to it. And he is this very moment. I want you to know that you don't have to have panic or be frightened because God is watching over you right now. So let me take a look at this next one. Fixing your eyes on Jesus leads to peace. See, these disciples knew the only source of calm was Jesus in that boat, and they went to him. When you find yourself feeling uneasy, panicked, you can't find something you need, look upon him. Look on Jesus. You will find a peace that comes because do you really need that? Maybe not. But I do know that we need Jesus all the time. By focusing on God, we allow him to be bigger than our problems. A lot of times we look at them and we focus on them instead of focusing on God and realizing he's going to take care of us. He will take care of us. The third thing I want you to remember today is that Jesus is always in your boat. He is there with you. He said he would never leave you nor forsake you. When you focus on him, your fears have no control over you. That's what the enemy wants. He wants to destroy you and to take the calm and the peace away. Just take a moment right now and allow the peace of God to come over you. It will. 
Thank you, Jesus, right now. Remember, God calls you to live by faith, not by what we see. That's what the scripture says in 2 Corinthians. We are supposed to know what to do, and that's to put our faith and our trust and our hope in Him. You always have two choices in this world. Always have two. The first one, you can focus on your circumstances. You can get your eyes on what's going on around about you. Or you can choose to do the right thing and to fix your eyes and your attention and your focus on Jesus Christ. If you do, then you'll find that all of the other things seem to fade away. You'll realize that He is our eternal hope. He is everything that we need. When you choose to look at Him above all other things, you will find Him coming to you, walking into your life, just like He did into the disciples' lives on that boat. He got up and spoke to those storms. He will speak to the storms of your life too. But you have to ask Him. He's right there. You don't have to go far. He's as close as your next breath. So today I want you to remember to choose faith over fear. I will tell you this. This is our church. This is our church. And I'll tell you something. We've had to make a small investment, not large, into what we're doing today. Buying some equipment. Alex is helping us. But I will tell you this. It takes your help today to help continue to do what we're doing here. And I appreciate that. So I, I want you to remember the GiveLify app is available to you. For those of you that are watching that have never seen uh, Crossroads before, we have an app called GiveLify. And it's a universal giving app just for churches. And you can go there and look us up, Crossroads Community Church in Dallas, and you can give and help support what we're doing here. We are tax deductible, so if that means something to you, then you can certainly use that on your taxes. But I want to let you know something. We're praying for you. We're praying for all the needs that you have. All the needs that you have. If you want to reach out and you have a need in your life, I would love to pray for you. So I'm putting up the address of the church, our, our mailing address, and the church website. And you can reach me, Bob Barker, pastor of Crossroads, by going to the website. I'm going to leave it up here just for a couple of seconds so you can see it. But I want you to know that if you need something, please, please reach out to us here at Crossroads. Hopefully soon we'll be able to announce that we're holding meetings again at Theater 3. But until that time, I will see you right here again next Sunday at 10 o'clock. God bless you and I hope you have a wonderful week.